Welcome back to Maths in an Empty Classroom with me, Mr Sutton. This is part two of the lesson on critical regions uh, and in this video I'm going to be going through how to find a critical region for a two-tailed hypothesis test using the binomial distribution. Uh, so I've rehashed the two-tailed example um, that I went through when we were looking at hypothesis testing. Uh, I've changed the year to 2011 um, and I said that it was noted that 10% uh, of the UK population were left-handed. Uh, and to see if this proportion has changed, a sample survey is carried out. Now, that key word, as I mentioned before with two-tailed tests, changed is the word that indicates to us that this is going to be a two-tailed test, not a one-tailed test. Uh, the survey uses a sample of 80 people uh, using a 5% level of significance uh, find the critical region in which there will be sufficient evidence to suggest that there has been a change in the proportion of the UK population that are left-handed. Right, okay, so we're going to start with the assumption that this probability is true. Uh, so our null hypothesis is that the probability of being left-handed in the UK is 0.1. Uh, and because it's a two-tailed test, our alternative hypothesis is that the probability is not 0.1. So it could be less, it could be more. We're doing a two-tailed test, one side the other side. Now, because we're doing a two-tailed test, we're going to halve the significance level uh, and we're going to be testing 2.5% in each tail. Uh, we're going to be using the sample size of 80, uh, so the binomial distribution we're going to be using for our calculations is x follows the binomial 80, 0 0.1, uh, so um, 80 people in the sample, 0 0.1, the probability we're going to use for calculation because that's the number of testing. Uh, and we're going to have two um, rejection statements here. So we're going to reject H0 if the probability of x being less than or equal to one x value is less than or equal to 0 0.025. That's the 2.5% half the total significance level, um, or if the probability of x being greater than or equal to a different x value is less than or equal to 0 0.025. So because this is a two-tailed test, we're asking how many people would there have to be that are left-handed that that's a small enough number that makes us doubt the probability, or how many people would there have to be that were left-handed that's a big enough number that makes us doubt our assumed probability. So we're going to use this binomial distribution, um, x plus the binomial 80, 0 0.1. Um, and again, as before, we're going to have um, a think about what our expected value is, our expectation, uh, because our expectation is going to be 80 times by 0 0.1, so the number in the sample times the probability, uh, which is 8. And what that gives us an idea for with the two-tailed test is roughly where the middle um, of the distribution is going to be in terms of the percentage probabilities. Um, so if we find some values lower than 8, then the values the same distance the other side of 8 are likely to be comparable in terms of the percentage chance. Um, I've uh, calculated a few of these values um, earlier on, um, and I've got the probability that x is less than or equal to 2, to be uh, 0 0.0106. I've got the probability that x is less than or equal to 3 uh, to be 0 0.0353 at the lower end. Uh, and then at the upper end, I've got the probability that x is greater than or equal to 14 uh, to be 0 0.0268. And the probability that x is greater than or equal to 15 uh, to be 0 0.0124. Um, and I'm just going to discuss what these values um, tell us. Now, 2.5% is the significance level in each tail. So if I was purely looking at that and saying my values have to be within that parameter of 2.5%, I'd be saying, okay, that one's less than 2.5%, and this one is less than 2.5%. Uh, 
So the answer to my question here, the critical region for rejection is if x is less than or equal to 2, or if x is greater than or equal to 15. So what that means is that if two or fewer people out of the 80 were left-handed, the chance of that happening is low enough that I doubt the 0.1, and I think it's lower. Similarly, if 15 or more out of the 80 people are left-handed, that's sufficiently unlikely that it makes me doubt the value 0.1, but I would think that it's higher. So two-tailed critical region. Now we could be asked to do a number of things um, as a follow-up to this. Uh, one of the things that we can be asked to do is to state the actual significance level. Because the actual significance level is not 5% because we've got the critical region where we know the probability of rejection in each tail. We know the probability of rejection at the lower end is 0 0.0106 and we know the probability at the higher end is 0 0.0124. So if we add those together, uh, we're going to get 0 0.023. Yes, 0 0.023. So the actual significance level of our test is 2.3%, because that just happens to be where these values fall. So that's one thing that we could be asked to do. Sometimes the wording of the question is slightly different, and rather than saying you have to be less than 2.5% in each tail, it says you have to be as close as possible to 2.5%. Now if that was the case, in both of these scenarios here, the other result is actually closer to 2.5% than the one that we've used. So, if we were going closest to 2.5% that we could, then our critical region would actually be x is less than or equal to 3 or x is greater than or equal to 14 because again that probability there is closer to 2.5% than the one for x being greater than or equal to 15. So our critical region would become less than or equal to 3, greater than or equal to 14. And the actual significance level of this test would be the probability of this, which is 0 0.353, plus the actual significance, uh, so the actual probability here, 0 0.0268, uh, which is going to be uh, 0 0.0, come on, that's the end of the day, 621. So 6.21%. So if you were setting up this experiment and I said I want the probability to be close to 5%, you would have to decide if you're happy to have a 6%, 6.2% chance of incorrectly rejecting the null hypothesis because that's what the significance level is. Okay, there we go. Uh, critical regions uh, for a two-tailed test uh, with all the possible permutations of questions covered. Thanks for your company.